Rich from Plover. Jay, did you know Plover is for lovers? <laughs> I did not <laughs> know that. Well, now you know. Now you know. Rich awesome. says, looking to add some toothy tough assault eels to my musky game this season. What's the difference between assault eels, other big rubber baits? When do you like to use the assault eels? I'm hoping to get some fish on this season. Love the podcast. Thanks, Rich. I love hey, thanks, Rich. Yeah, that's They're awesome. Killer. Jay, you yeah, know I love those beach. things. We we did a show on them this year. Mm-hmm. Killer stuff. The thing with this salt eels, it's it's got a really flat bottom, and that allows that bait to really do some interesting things in the water. If you're working like a hard, hard, aggressive ripping thing, but you give it a little slack, that sucker's gonna fall off at some interesting angles, right? So you can hit it and it'll kick a little bit left, a little bit right. So you're getting some different fall off with that bait. You know, depending on how fast aggressively you're working it, I know you like that thing in the figure eight, which is crazy for a big rubber bait, but you love the tail. Yeah, the tail runs almost the entire expanse of the bait, which yeah. is unusual to begin with. And I think just the vibration that that thing must be putting out underwater is something completely different. And I mean, why not try something new and different? This is musky fishing after all. I mean, yeah. come on. Well, if nothing, you know, with nothing else, just the visual appeal, that tail moving. You know, there's a lot of action yeah. there. So, you know, I know you've, like you said, you've done well in the figure eight with them. I like them in, in current. They run really well in current. They're not getting rolled over. They're they're not doing anything too funky. So you still have action. I, I know the guy that makes them is a West by God Virginian. Mm-hmm. Right. Craker. Um, fishing handmade. That, handmade. Hand poured. Yep. Cre- Creaker extreme. Uh, so he's fishing all this stuff that has fast current. So they're going to run in that. But in, you know, choppy water, that's the other thing a lot of people don't think about. You know, a lot of times these baits are influenced if we're fishing a big chop. So the Toothy Tough is is built to run in some of that nasty stuff. So I know it's got a good action doing that. I know it's got a great fall off. It's sort of like a glidey flatter thing, right? If I need to get super deep, super fast, it's not my choice. But around cover that mid-range stuff, I need to hit weed tops. Yeah. It's got a lot of appeal. And like yep. you said, I mean, Jay, Jay knows these tails, and that's the one, man. That thing's got a big look to it. It's going to put some fish in the boat. Hope hope it does for you this season, Rich. 